you never really truly know a person. You never really truly see a person. And yes, while you might see them physically, while they might be standing in front of you in the flesh, in a physical sense, you will never see them for who they truly are behind closed doors when no one is looking, when all the lights are off and it's just them by themselves. That person will never be revealed to you. All you see is the exterior. All you see is the facade. Society is one big masquerade. And I'm going to get into this. This is a Tarek Talks Midnight Podcast. Sit down, relax, and enjoy. The person that you are currently talking to is only a shell of themselves. You are only seeing the exterior, only the tip of the iceberg. Because an iceberg, you only see 10% of it above the water. The rest of the 90% of it is hidden deep, miles and miles and miles down into the ocean floor. This is exactly how the human psyche is. This is exactly how it is when you are talking to a person. Yes, you might know them as in you might know who they are to the world, but you don't know them internally. You don't know them because as an old Japanese quote said, and I am just paraphrasing, people have three faces. The first face is for the public to see. The second face is the one that family and close friends see. The third one is the one that only the person sees. The third face is the one that is buried deep down within the recesses of a person's thoughts, of their mind, of their consciousness. And this face can actually be very scary. In a lot of cases, this is why it is kept deep down in the recesses of their mind. And this goes for everyone, no matter how pious, no matter how holy or no matter how clean cut and cookie cutter someone appears to be. There is always that side that people do not see. And it is like a stranger lurking in the shadows. This is exactly what it is akin to. It is like somebody lurking in the shadows. You do not see them. And we see this a lot. We sometimes see these people's true self come out. And there are plenty of examples. For example, and of course we have social media now. And in modern terms, you could almost say that social media is a fourth face, right? Because we are, we said in the beginning with the Japanese quote that there is three faces that a person has. Well, nowadays there is four with social media. And this is an extension. You can say it is an extension of the public face. You know, the face that people show to the public. And a prime example of this is the picture perfect couple. And this is just one example. This is just one example of many. We have all seen the perfect couple on social media. We have all seen this meme plenty of times. If we have been on social media long enough and This face, the social media face, for example, these two are going to present themselves as the most picture perfect couple. They are going to represent themselves as a very clean cut, happy, very outgoing at all times, because this is the only thing that you see on their page. This is the only thing that you see on their social media. So people very foolishly believe this right and that same spouse that is portraying to be very happy and smiling ear to ear 
every single picture that they have, they have this very large, exaggerated smile. They have all of these very well thought out quotes. They have these very warm and very friendly, very loving quotes that they handpick and they put under their very happy picture. But let's go into the recesses of their mind. Let us go into their true self, their third face, their internal face that no one else sees. Let us take a deeper dive into that. The same person, the same spouse that you see on her Instagram, smiling from ear to ear, in her deep down recesses of her mind, she is fantasizing about another man. Or the husband is fantasizing about another woman. And on top of that, she has actually engaged in adult in adultery, in adulterous behavior. She has already cheated on him multiple times. She has done things that would make the husband's stomach turn upside down. Or he has done things that would shock his wife. They almost have a double life because, see, the life that they portray to the world, the life that they portray to the media is that of a very happy go lucky, very loyal, very cookie cutter family or partnership. But in all reality, the true self is the complete opposite. They are probably, she is probably not happy. She is probably not loyal. He is probably not happy. He is probably not loyal. And the lifestyle that they engage is so shocking. If it was ever to be found out, it is so shocking because they have been portraying this face this whole time. They have been portraying this facade for so long. So when their cover is blown, when their true self is shown to the light, because what is in the dark will come out in, into the light. People will be taken back. They will be shocked. They will be in awe. These two might have had a life that was so opposite, that was so contrary to what they portrayed. It is almost unbelievable. This wife that takes all of these pictures with her happy boyfriend or happy husband and her kids. She might be participating in activities that will be unbelievable, that would be unfathom unfathomable to the human mind. This husband that is portraying this whole facade of a happy husband and he's very caring, which he might be, which he, which I'm not saying that he is faking the love for his children. No, and matter of fact, they these people, they do love their children most of the time, right? But the whole facade, he, in, in all reality, is living a double life. He has multiple mistresses. He's hired various escorts. But this is very contrary to what he has been portraying. And this is just one example of how people have these different faces. These faces are interchangeable because people need to keep up appearances. They need to keep up appearances with society and they don't want to do anything that would make them get looked at funny or might make them seem less desirable or less respectable because a long time ago, an archaic primitive society if someone did something that went con that was contrary to the society or the mainstream punishment could have been execution or being exiled from that town from that city what have you and what is being exiled exiled simply means to be kicked out of physically people were physically exiled meaning they were fit they were kicked out nowadays people are mentally exiled they are 
socially ostracized if they go against something that is out of the norm or is culturally unaccepted. So what ends up happening is they hide their true self deep down within the recesses of their mind. No one is ever going to know about their darkest desires. No one will ever know about how they truly feel unless, of course, it is approved by society as a whole. But if it is not, it is going to stay deep down within the recesses of this person's mind. And even if it is socially accepted, they are still not going to display it. This is only a side of the face that they know. This is only a side of what they truly feel. And sometimes this side of the human psychology is a bit dark. It is a bit insidious. We have seen cases where people that go to work every day, people that are in society are very unsuspecting, are very insignificant. And I don't mean this in a harsh way, but I mean as in a way of a threat. They are very insignificant. They go along to get along with society. And we later find out that they have been serial killers. This has been something that is well documented. These people have a lot of people have deep down, deep, dark desires. They have things that the outer world could could not possibly be aware of. And other ways that this side comes out is when you have the person that presents himself as someone that is very clean cut and cookie cutter, like I stated purposely with the whole social media spouse dynamic. But this person portrays himself to be very cookie cutter, to be very righteous and come to find out he has been doing inappropriate things with underage kids. This is only a few. These are only a few examples. Another example, which is a little more tame, is someone that you might be talking to every single day. You guys talk or maybe you wave at this person. Maybe you're just cordial. Maybe you just keep it friendly. But deep down inside, this person does not even like you. But you will never know this because it's deep down in the shadows of his consciousness. Or this person might actually be someone that you call a friend. And every time they see you do something, they mumble under their breath or in the deep down recesses of their mind, they are talking bad about you, not in public, of course. Of course, this is the the deep down part of theirs. This is their true self, how they truly are. And this is where things can kind of get a little scary. This is where things can kind of get a little frightening with people's shadow. And sometimes the sh the, sometimes their deep self doesn't always have to be negative. It can be a positive thing. Like, for example, they might have an eccentric hobby like rollerblading, for example. But in their current environment, they will get made fun of for having this interest. So that stays buried deep down inside of their consciousness.